All right, in this next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the Adobe Capture Tool, an app that's for your phone. It's part of the whole Adobe uh, Creative Suite ecosystem. Um, and this way you can take a drawing that you've made and turn it into a vector shape and it looks like this, or this, or this. Let's go check it out, here we go. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna to need to do for this, if you haven't done it already, is download the Adobe Capture app uh, for your phone. Um, it's all part of the Creative Cloud. So if you have an account, uh, Creative Cloud account, you can use this app uh, on your phone. You just have to log in with your credentials. Uh, I'm on a, I'm on an Android phone, so I went to the Play Store. If you're on a uh, Apple phone, of course, just go to the App Store and download Adobe Capture. Um, once that is downloaded, you'll just go and open up the app. You'll probably be prompted to log into it. Um, and I just want you to notice that there's a whole bunch of different uses for this. You can uh, identify materials or create materials for, for projects. You can identify type. What we're going to be using uh, this tutorial for is shapes. There's also uh, ways to identify color palettes or looks, um, patterns, and create brushes as well. Um, but what I've done, I'm just going to show you quickly a picture, is I've drawn uh, some lines on here that I want to use for uh, capturing uh, as shapes and bring them into um, Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to go over to the Shapes tab. You're going to notice that everything turns into uh, just black and white, because the idea is that you're taking this line drawing and you want to vectorize it. Um, so what I try to do is just get uh, close to where I want to be. I'm going to hit the capture button, which is the big round button. Um, that's going to freeze it uh, and then take me into this next uh, pane here. Um, I have the ability to do a little drawing on here if I need to or some erasing. I like to do try to do a little cleanup uh, here first, just any of the major things. So I'm just cleaning things up. Uh, but I'm going to, of course, have to clean it up once I get into um, once I get into Illustrator as well. So that looks pretty good. Uh, I definitely see there's some smudges there, but I don't want to go too close. Uh, I don't want to destroy my drawing. Um, once I'm happy with it, I'm going to hit the check mark. And then I'm going to go forward here and be able to save it. Um, and so you can choose any folder that you have in your library. I've made a bunch for different class projects. Uh, and I'm just going to save this one for my Desmer 211 class, and I'm going to click on Save. Now I can give it a name if I want. Let's give it uh, I don't know, like Flower Stem, something like that. Right, you don't have to give it a name, it just kind of helps. And now I'm going to save it. So now it's saved to my library. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Adobe Illustrator and show you how to use these. What I want to do first is go to the Window menu and click on Libraries. I already have it up here. And you can see that uh, I have all my libraries. So if I just hit that back button, you can see all my libraries are listed here. The same that we saw on my phone, right? So everything is synced in the cloud, therefore the creative cloud. And the folder that I put everything in that we're using today is DSMR211. You can call it whatever you want. And here are my graphics. Let's take flower stem. And the way that you get this into Illustrator you just drag it onto your screen and then you're prompted to take it and scale it up. And now you have a graphic that you made from your drawing. All right? And it is a vector graphic. Um, how do I know it's a vector graphic? If I click on it with the white arrow, you're going to see there's all my vector points, which is totally awesome. Now there's a couple of extra pieces on here that I want to get rid of. So I'm just going to take my white arrow and delete that. I'm going to select that and delete it and delete this one. I think that's all the extraneous pieces on there. Um, so doing a little cleanup with it is uh, certainly something that you will need to do. Um, now, uh, a couple things that we can do once this is in here, uh, as you can see, it looks like there's some extra pieces up here. Let me delete all that out. Um, as you can see that it takes your drawing exactly how you drew it. So if you're looking for that kind of that, that rough or that hand-drawn style, that's, that's great. 
um, because it will maintain that. Um, there is a tool that if you wanted to simplify this a little bit, if you wanted to get rid of some of the points and try to clean it up and smooth it out a little bit, uh, that could be your first stop. And that's called the Simplify tool. So to do that, you go to the Object menu, uh, down to Path, and then down to Simplify. And what Simplify will allow you to do is change the number of points that make up that path. Now as you get smaller and smaller, it's really going to start to deform the path quite a bit, um, smoothing it out and maybe making some of the um, curve points a little bit more uh, angular. So just use this uh, judiciously. Um, take your time with it. You can always undo it if you don't like it. Um, but now you can kind of simplify it a little bit and then uh, when you're all done with that then you can also go in and edit the anchor points if you need to. So if you wanted to smooth things out uh, you could certainly just adjust the anchor handles and adjust um, the angles of them and the distance that they are away from uh, the anchor points. Uh, but for our purposes today, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I like it a little bit more raw. I like it having, um, I like it having just that hand-drawn quality to it. Um, so now I can just use this in my project uh, if I want. I could do all sorts of things with it. I could rotate it. I could scale it. I could mirror it um, because it is just vector objects. But what I want to do is I want to show you how we can further use this tool, which I think is going to be uh, really fun and really beneficial for some of your projects. I'm going to turn this into what's called a brush. Um, and we've seen brushes before. If you've been watching videos on my channel, we do these. And um, so I want to show you how that all works. But the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that this is about as uh, straight as possible in terms of just aligning to the horizontal axis. Um, so what I want to do is I want to throw a horizontal guide on here. And the easiest way to do that is to go to the View menu, down to Rulers, and Show Rulers, Command or Control R, and then go up to the top ruler and drag one down, um, and just kind of anchor it to part of your drawing. Now, as I look at it, I see that this tip over here is a little bit higher than this tip over here, so I'm just going to make a subtle adjustment to it and rotate it just the tiniest little bit to ensure that it's about as straight as possible. Now remember this is a hand hand drawn so it doesn't have to be perfect but I, for the purposes of making a brush uh, the straighter that we can make it the better it's going to be. So I'm going to zoom out and now what I want to do is I'm going to open up my brushes panel. So I'm going to go to the Windows menu and then to brushes and what I'm going to do is take my flower that I've made in Adobe Capture and brought it into Illustrator and I'm going to drag it into my brushes panel. And I'm going to turn this into an art brush. And what an art brush does is it, is it allows you to take that vector drawing and stretch it along a path. So I'm going to click on OK. Once I'm in here, you can see that uh, this is aligned along this path. You can see the arrow head here. You can change the direction of, of it if you want. If you wanted the, the petals part to be at the back end of the path, you could do that, or you could have it going vertically if you want. Uh, but we're not going to do that for, for this purpose. And for right now, I'm just going to have the entire shape stretch along uh, the path. I can change it so the flower part doesn't get distorted. I'll show you that um, next, but I just want to show you first how this all works. And I'm just going to click on OK. So now what this means is that, let's say I take the Arc tool and the arc tool is typically associated with some of your shape tools and you're just going to go draw an arc and then you'll click on in the brushes panel you'll click on your flower brush so now you have this uh, shape that is flowing along uh, your path that you've created and so depending on the size and the shape of it you'll get all sorts of different shapes now I just want you to notice that as I made this one that was smaller, uh, the petal part of it got a little bit compressed, or this one here kind of got stretched out. If we want to control this so this will always uh, be the same shape, we can edit that in the properties for the brush. 
So I'm going to double click the art brush here and I'm going to click on stretch between guides. And what I want to do is I'm just going to change these guides. So uh, one of the guides is in front of the um, in front of the petals of that flower. And now when I click on OK and I apply this to the strokes, now all the flower petals are the same size, but the stem has changed. So there's all sorts of cool ways that you can um, play with and modify uh, the, your brushes that you've created. Um, so that's going to be it for this particular tutorial. Um, have fun with Adobe Capture. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next tutorial. Thanks.